Hey guys, this is Matt, and I'm back with uh, part three of our tower defense tutorial, where we are going to learn how to make our enemies move, and also how to make them pathfind uh, through our mazes. So let's go ahead and get started. Take a look at some code. Uh, here we're in the enemy base. This is the script that is attached to our enemy prefab. And this enemy base actually inherits from an entity base. So if we go over to our entity, uh, it's a very simple class. It might be uh, taken out in the future because I don't think we're going to use it too much. But for now, all it has is the destroy method. Uh, basically, I dereference it from our object manager and then destroy the game object. And it also has an awake uh, method in here. Uh, awake is a method that runs uh, before the start. Just something useful to know uh, because Unity uses uh, some form of lazy loading. Uh, so inside of the awake statement we're going to set our object manager by uh, getting an instance of it and then we're going to add, an in add this entity uh, to that object manager. manager. Uh, so if we take a look in here, uh, we take an entity, and if it is an enemy, enemy base, and it's not already in the list, then we're going to add it to the list of enemies that uh, the object manager keeps track of. And that just makes it a little bit easier to know which enemies are actually on your map. Uh, so that's about it for the entity base. So let's give, come back into here to where our enemy is. So on the... let's... Uh, take a look at some of the member variables. We have an on node, which is the node that this unit is currently on. We have a current waypoint, which is an index into the path array. And this is the index to the node that our unit is walking to. Path, like I said, a list of nodes that the unit is walking through. And the speed is how fast they're uh, going to be walking through it. So let's take a look at our start method. Uh, the first thing we do is we set our on node by calling get node from location, which I covered in uh, part two of this series. So we call get node from location and we send it our current position, and that returns the node uh, that that position uh, is over. Then we're going to uh, call set path uh, right down here. So set path, we call our A star to get a list of nodes, which is our path. Uh, if it is zero, then we, we don't, we're not going to set it at all. But if it's not, then we're going to set that path and then change our current waypoint to the, uh, the, end of, the end of this list. And let's take a quick look at A star. Uh, so we send it the starting and the starting node and the goal node, the destination, uh, this is exactly a carbon copy of the A star algorithm I used in a previous game. So I'll post a link to that video if uh, anybody wants to take a look to a more in-depth uh, in explanation of that. So there we have set path. And that's it for the start method. Now the only thing that we have left is the update method, where all we do is we move. Uh, so, inside of our move method, we're going to create a new vector 3, that is our move vector, and we're going to set its x equal to our current x position minus the node that we're traveling to's unity position, uh, its x composition. We're going to do the same for the z, and then we're going to normalize it, so it uh, makes it a unit vector. Next, we're going to actually set our position uh, our object's position by calling transform.position equals new vector 3. And we're going to take our current x position and subtract the amount that we moved in that time slice. And to do that, we take our movement vector and we're going to multiply it by our speed. And I also put in a game speed so that we uh, might be able to create a feature to uh, speed up the game. So right now it's just set to 1, so it doesn't do anything. But in the future we might say that 
you can double or even triple the speed. And then we'll uh, do the same thing for our turrets and projectiles. So there's our speed. And then we multiply that by the delta time of that time slice. And that's going to give us the amount that they moved for that bit of time. We do the same for the z. And uh, set that equal to our current position. So now uh, we're just going to get we're going to get another uh, vector three position. Set that equal to uh, our current position that we just fixed, and then clear out the y because we don't need it. Next, we're going to get the node from that location. So we're going to get the new node that we're on, and we're going to see if that is equal to the node that we're traveling to. If it is the node that we're traveling to, then we're going to change our on node to that node. We're going to decrement our current waypoint. And if our current waypoint is less than zero, so if we have reached the destination, we're going to, de going to destroy the enemy and then return out of the method. Uh, and this is going to be the place where we can do things like uh, decrement the player score. So uh, we can make the player lose even. Uh, that is about it for this tutorial. Pretty short. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.